Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all doing okay. So today, I am doing a glow up because this, and what even are these? Oh my goodness, what are they? They need wiping off. We aren't vibing with what's going on. She's pasty. Her eyebrows need plucking. We've just got stuff going on. We, we need to fix it. So, we are doing a glow up video. It's nothing extravagant, guys, because I am a mum. I have limited time and I have very limited money. So this is a budget kind of vibe. So yeah, this is gonna be an at home glow up video. But we are getting ready for a wedding. It's my sister's wedding in two days. So we need to bath, shave, exfoliate. We need some thick tan on. We need our eyebrows tinting, shaping, sorting. We need our nails doing because, oh my God, that's so embarrassing to even show you. They are not it. So that is what we're doing. I'm just about to jump in the bath in there. I'm gonna shave, exfoliate, all that stuff. Obviously, you won't be coming along for that. I will catch up with you after. I am gonna put a face mask on, some teeth whitening strips, the full shebang. So this is the before. I have actually also had my hair done recently. Um, Which is, it's okay. I've been thinking about putting some toner on it though because like here oh it's a little bit orange isn't it oh should i turn it oh my god that's actually looking really orange oh my god is it actually that orange i'm not sure if it's just the camera or if that's actually how orange it's looking we're doing it we are gonna do it because yeah i don't know i'm not vibing with that at all so don't oh oh it's oh what the hell <gasps> This looks a bit serious for me. Oh, I'm used to like a one tub kind of thing and this is, is this colour? Oh, this has got me a bit anxious. God, that is really orange. I can't believe I haven't noticed that. I literally had my hair done, guys. Three, like three weeks ago, was it? I filmed the whole thing and posted it. I'm kind of winging this. I haven't read anything. I should probably read stuff, shouldn't I? I'm gonna go mix all this stuff and then I'll put you back on. We are gloved up and I feel like I should probably have some kind of technique to do this and like at least be sectioning my hair um but i'm not gonna i'm just gonna wing it so we'll go ooh, we'll go on the glove not straight on the hair oh my goodness it's quite runny i don't know if i shook it well enough is it supposed to be runny guys should i just oh, i really should have sectioned this Screw it. We're just gonna go for it. I'm gonna regret this, guys, because I actually really didn't want to be like, like a really silvery white blonde highlight. So I did want to keep them quite. I don't really know what the color is. I think the hairdresser used like the color mushroom. I wanted to keep them quite mushroom, but and this is like very very like blonde. That isn't. Mushroom that is like white blonde. I'll just do the ends last, I think. Wow. Toner. Is that is, is toner supposed to be permanent or what? Because I clearly don't know. Oh, that's itchy. Probably not a good sign. I probably could have done with it two bottles, but it's quite dark, which is making me a little bit nervous that I've done something wrong. Okay, so it actually says leave the conditioning treatment on. For like two minutes, but I've just put it on and I'm gonna actually just go have tea and leave it on for a bit longer just to get as much moisture back in my hair as possible because I do have pretty dry hair generally. And I also need to find my tweezers because I can't find them anywhere. And that is not the vibe. Go on then, tell us what's in it, John. Chicken nuggets. Chicken nuggets. Pasta. Pasta. Garlic. Garlic. Um, something else. Something else. Mm. Uh, chipotle. Chipotle. Pepper. Pepper. Um, and bachamel sauce. Bachamel sauce. What does Evie think? You'll be able to eat this in a few weeks. <gasps> you want it now, huh? Okay, so I've just got out of the shower bath, clearly, as you can tell. And I've just taken off my face mask. I'm not going to lie, my skin is feeling pretty glowy. Eyebrows up next because they are in some desperate need of some TLC. I'll show you what I do. I am um, I laminate them at home and I tint them at home. 
and I'm not going to come out like I'm some professional and that they look amazing because they don't. It just gives them a little bit of something. It doesn't even give them the laminated effect. All it really does for me is when I actually do my makeup and do my eyebrows, I gel them. It just means that they kind of stay there a bit better and hold the shape better. It doesn't actually do that without any product for me. One thing about my hair, guys, is look at this. This is how straight my hair is. This is what we are on with. Little brow lift. So the very first thing I am going to do is I can't even remember. What do I even do? Oh, that was quite impressive, wasn't it? I'm going to put this glue in my eyebrows, brush them into a somewhat upwards motion and then we'll catch up. So this is how I do them and you absolutely don't have to go that crazy. I also have very sparse eyebrows. You probably wouldn't want to go that crazy but my eyebrows just don't hold the shape very well at all so I just try to give them as much volume as possible. So that is my aim to begin with. Okay so that one actually went quite a lot better. I forgot how quickly the glue dried with this one and by the time I got to here they were already like stuck how they are. So that one's a bit more how you want it. That is very very sparse and very dodgy looking so next up guys i can't even remember what you're meant to do to, in all honesty it's been a long time since i've done this is it like 10 minutes you're meant to wait oh i'm just gonna wing this next up i'm just putting the perm on took a minute to refocus didn't it i don't remember how long you're meant to leave this on for not gonna lie can't remember if it's like three minutes or 15 so i'm just gonna wing it just gonna wing it. Oh gosh, I always forget how horrendous this smells. Holy moly. Please don't like take my advice on this and like damage your eyebrows because I'm not professional. Okay, so this little kit I've got, I'm pretty sure it's for eyelashes, but it comes with these little things. So I'm actually just gonna stick that over the top and my camera is about to die. So while this sits, I'm gonna go try find my other um battery okay so it's been about eight minutes so i'm just gonna take this off i'm pretty sure you're supposed to wipe this off now i'm not entirely sure guys but there is like a million and one youtube videos and tiktok videos and all sorts of videos on how to do this at home with these kind of kits so please go watch one of them and don't just take my word for all of this because i feel like i'm probably doing something very wrong i feel like everyone else who i see do this has like these big bushy beautiful eyebrows and i just have very fine very thin sparse eyebrows okay so i'm just gonna let that sit for another 10 minutes or so and then we'll tint them <laughs> yeah i actually like to just do this little bit of my eyebrow with a um one of these I'd absolutely love to do is it derma planning, derma planing, something like that. <laughs> oh dear, Avy Wavy, we've got Avy in the background for a minute. Um, she's absolutely fine, guys. Her dad has literally just run to get rid of me. I'd absolutely love to do derma planing, derma planning, whatever it's called. But um, I'm just terrified of my hair's all growing back. Way darker. I really need my eyebrows like doing properly. So, is any eyebrow? like beauty experts out there that wanna, you know, gift me some new eyebrows, then hit me up. <laughs> now I'm just tinting them. I don't even know if I said that. Just tinting them. You can hear the kids in the background. We're just, John's just getting them into bed and I'm gonna go snuggle my Marley Moo to sleep and then I'm gonna come back, pluck my eyebrows and fake tan. So I'm obviously not gonna be able to show you my full fake tan routine because <laughs> that wouldn't be appropriate. Um, but I've already moisturised knees, elbows, all that good stuff. And I'm just using the filter by Molly Mae. Tan. Just me back in a freaking towel on my head. Aviana got tuna all in my hair. So I've just washed the ends but left the roots dry. Which is something I've never done before, but my roots are like perfect greasiness. Like they're not, I don't know how to explain it. They're not greasy at all, but they're not um, like super silky smooth. Like they're perfect for styling it tomorrow. So I didn't want to like wash it because then it'll just be too soft and it won't style. So I've washed the ends to get the tuna out, but keeping the roots dry 
and I'm also thinking because I've wet it I'm going to take it as the opportunity to do overnight curls I'm a bit anxious about that but I guess if it all goes wrong I can just curl it tomorrow anyway um, so that is the plan, I'm going to go do some overnight curls and paint these nails uh, look how gross that is, how do you stop fake tan getting under your nails guys because oh my gosh that is so disgusting I also really really overdid my um, hands so I've been trying to wash them loads today to get it all off but it just isn't working Okay, so that's me doing, I think the call is it unicorn curls, I think they're called. Um, oh my gosh, I'm running out of, I'm using one of Jordan's ties. I am running out of room here. Sexy, right, I just think what that looked like. I'm gonna get copyrighted by freaking Hey Bear in the background, aren't I? Um, I dread to think what it looked like because my hair is so tangly. It just doesn't go together very well at all. I'm sure you used to seeing a very, very luscious, smooth, untangled straight hair going into these things but that is just not my hair I'm afraid so, oh my god this is gonna this isn't looking like a glow up anymore is it guys holy moly good morning everybody today is the day of I'm telling you this how the hair's looking it's actually turned out pretty good so far so I'm sure I have to take it out and see what we are dealing with I mean yeah no I'm gonna have to redo that <laughs> Let me just brush through it and we'll see what we're dealing with. It's actually quite impressive that I can curl my hair and it can come out this straight. I mean, it had the potential, kind of, but it just didn't follow through, did it? Like, okay, so I haven't actually decided what I'm doing with my hair yet. Okay, so I've actually kind of like French braided this here. I mean, it's looking a bit naff, actually, not gonna lie. Put like a bow in it, I guess. And then I'm just gonna do it with this side like that. And then obviously leaving this piece down, it kind of somewhat hides that um so yeah i'm just gonna go do this side now okay so this is the hairstyle i've redone this side like three times and there's like this little kink in it and it's really annoying me i've left some little bits down here to disguise this monstrosity going on little postpartum hair updo for you i guess and then i'm just gonna curl it but first i'm gonna go have some breakfast and a cup hair of oh yeah yeah i'm gonna go do that and then i'm gonna come back and do the face and I'm going to show you all the products I am using and I'll try to link every single one down below for you. Yeah, so I've literally spent like two hours curling my hair so at least that's done although I feel like I've got a bit OTT with it. It's a little bit more curly than I would have liked. I've just got the face framing bits in there and I'm just about to start with the face. So first things first I'm going to be using the, the Ordinary um, Moisturiser. I always 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 moisturise before I do anything with my face at all in terms of makeup. I'm gonna be using the e.l.f. Power Grip Primer. I just tend to do one squirt and I tend to aim it where I struggle the most. Just to give it that a little bit of extra glow, I like to go in with Benefit's High Beam Highlighter and just get a bit of glow going on underneath. Oh, I've got a bit OTT there, guys. And then for foundation, I use the Estee Lauder Double wear foundation and I use shade porcelain and then when I where I actually buy it from Yay! they do testers so I um actually ask them for it in a couple of shades darker so that when I faked hand you can kind of mix them together and get that darker shade and um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and put that on okay so that is foundation done now I actually prefer to use the Too Faced concealer however i love the like finish of that i much prefer the coverage of the nyx one um, although i don't have much that left and i love the fact that as you pump it this like moves up and also because i do have a bit of a bit i've got fake tan on the other one is probably a little bit too light next up i'm going in with powder and i don't even know what brand this is actually trigwell cosmetics setting powder i love how like fine this is I like to go in again with the beauty blender and just bake ever so slightly because i like to stay quite dewy is that the word dewy dewy and uh so i normally do like a um liquid bronzer let me see 
I might left it too late to do that. I'll see what I can do. Let me just wipe this off. And I might be able to actually go ahead and do that anyway. Yeah, I should be able to. And this is very well loved and used. So it's literally just L'Oreal Paris. L'Oreal Palace Infallible Concealer. However, I just got it in a very, very dark shade. Probably like 10 shades darker than I actually needed it. I bought this when I was like so many years ago. And you literally just need the tiniest amount, like so that you can barely, barely see it. I feel like if I'd got a shade, a few, well, a few shades lighter, um, I would always probably put a bit more on, but because it goes so dark, I definitely have to limit this. And I feel like, again, just having this as like a liquid layer helps keep that like hydrated look in. Oh gosh, I think I've put too much on there. <gasps> yep, too much, so let's. Yeah, just very subtle i don't like to go too crazy with that and then back in with that powder and i'm just going to put the finest 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 sprinkle all over you don't want to be layering powders on top of each other on top of each other on top of each other because otherwise it's going to get cakey it's a bit bright down here guys but we're having to move so that we can watch some kitty winkles um yes. Sorry, Goodness, I'm not going to show you this because obviously I'm kind of busy and we've got hair dug on and it's all going on but I'm about to bronze and blush and for that I'm using Maybelline's City Bronzer and Rimmel London Max Blush so I'm just going to pop that on now while I'm down here and I'll catch up with you guys for the next step Okay, we're back with less than an hour to go up but I feel like that's going to be plenty of time Why did we get to what do we need? So I've put blush and bronzer on very very subtle in fact I might, might add a little bit more um, I think we're going to do eyebrows next, so I use the Benefit Precisely in my brow and this is well used, like well well used, let me tell you. So I'm just going to go in and lay my eyebrows a little bit, I don't like to go too crazy, but just a bit of summit. I've got like a before and after here, like I said I have really really sparse patchy eyebrows which is so frustrating, but I feel like it just definitely pulls them up just a little bit, but yeah it is really annoying how sparse they are isn't it so i'm just gonna let them sit for a bit and then once they've sat and dried i'll be going in with the benefit precisely my brow brow pencil um but while they sit i'm gonna do my eyes and i'm not gonna do like a full what colors i use because we'll be here all day but i'm gonna be using these two morphe palettes so this one is quite new i don't actually like many of those colors except i mainly got it for this shimmer here and then over here this is well used i have had this since i've I think my best friend bought it when I was for like my 15th birthday or something like I have had this years, years. But um, it, it's my trusty palette and it's got my favourite, well, not my favourite ones because obviously they're well used but it's got some good colours left in it. And I also like to use as the base, I quite like to go in with my bronzer. So yeah, that's what I'll be doing. Catch up when the eyes are done. So that's it for the eyes, I'm going to try and leave it quite casual for eyeshadow and then I'm just going to go in with L'Oreal Paris Brown Eyebrow, eyebrow Pencil um, Brown Eyeliner. Now this is a little bit more light brown than I would have liked but I d can't find my other one anywhere. Oh actually, I have, um, oh I have this actually so I might... Nah, I'm just going to go in with this, so I'm just going to do a little bit of eyeliner, brown eyeliner. So I've gone for quite like a long outy wing, but not thick, just kind of elongate my eyes, because I have really like round eyes, I'm sh sure I don't need to tell you guys that. Um, so yeah, and then I'm just going to go in with that eyebrow pencil, do my eyebrows, then I'm going to put mascara on, which I use this good old thing, and then I have some lashes to put on too. So I totally just screwed up my eyebrows. Totally just screwed up my eyebrows. They are way too dark um, and chunky and blocky, but it's just gonna kind of have to do because I don't have time to fix them. So these are the eyelashes I'm gonna be using. They're actually from Primark, and I mean, I wouldn't want to use them more than once, but for that one like do, I actually find that they're like so, like worth, they're not the best, but for the price, they are the best. So that is makeup done, and I've actually decided to brush through my curls because I'm just not happy with how kind of tight they're looking. I just feel like I've ever done it just a little bit. I also haven't even decided what dress I'm wearing yet. We need to go in 15 minutes. <laughs> 
take these out. Oh, that was painful. Oh, guys, watering. Well, that's attractive, isn't it? I'm gonna put a dress on and see what I'm thinking. So I sent John to the shop to get double-sided tape so I could tape everything together. And this is what he came back with. Um, but you know what, it's just gonna have to do. So I'm actually just sticking these in to here and then I'm gonna attach the dress to the bra, to the bikini, so that I can still breastfeed. Okay, so I think we're just about all done. This is the dress, I've kind of taped it so that we don't have any booby slips. Um, the back, obviously, like I said, I've gone bikini at the back and I've just strapped it around to make it kind of look acceptable. Um, but yeah, I'll try insert some photos. Thank you all so much for watching. If you have enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, turn on those bell notifications so you don't miss any of the upcoming videos. We've got lots of mum content coming out soon regarding baby led weaning and all that good stuff. I will see you in the next video. Bye. I've just realised I'm missing a bow. There we are. Cute scenes are actually Evie's bows. Um, so yeah, it's kind of cute. Kind of like a two-year-old, but I'm kind of okay with that. Replay that outro. Bye.